Guys, we got Adam Aaron talking about the success of his new Spider-Man movie, why AMC is lighting up the stock market, the rise of AMC, AMC on a potential deadline, and so much more, guys, that I don't think you guys want to miss out on. So make sure you guys stick around and watch to the end of the video. What's up, guys? Tesk here. Welcome to an AMC video on the channel. If you guys enjoyed or got any information throughout this video, please make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. And a legal disclaimer before the video starts, I'm not a financial advisor. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. If we go to Adam Aaron, runs twitter he says in contrast to 2020 and 2021 spider-man continues to drive robust audience the domestic industry box office in the u.s and canada total was around 40 million dollars right and on monday december 20th before u.s and canada total sales i'm assuming this is sales u.s and canada's total was 40 million sales i'm assuming they made 40 million on monday december 20th before spider-man it was only 3.5 million on december 13th and it was 4 million on Monday, December 6th. We have another one from the Motley Fold. Why is the AMC lighting up the stock market today? What happened? Shares of AMC Entertainment obviously were running up 5% higher this morning trading on Tuesday as the latest installment of Spider-Man franchise obliterated the box office estimates with a $260 million opening weekend. It was one of the largest opening films of the pandemic era, ever second to the Avengers Endgame, which generated $357 million in the box office receipts during its 2019 opening. So what? AMC investors have argued that once Hollywood returns to, once Hollywood returns to form, producing quality entertainment, the movie theater operator will be able to serve because there is substantial late demand among would be moviegoers for good film the theater operator will be able to serve because there is substantial latent demand among would be moviegoers for good films now what spider-man is a global success outperforming in every market it's being shown in it's earned nearly 601 million dollars worldwide in its opening week and has generated nearly unanimous critical accolades with a 94% with a 94% critics rating on Rotten Tomatoes and a 99% of fan rating. So yeah, the movie is breaking through all kinds of records and it's absolutely insane. So you guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this and what does this mean for the stock and everything because it's, there's still more that I have to go over. But so far, I mean, it seems like it's just doing great. The stock, when a few days ago, it opened up doing massive numbers. So yeah, so far, so good. All right, so we have another one by the monthly poll. Why memes? stock amc payment may have an ongoing lease on life key points amc shares dropped earlier this month after a couple of its top executive liquidated part of their liquidated part or all of their stakes in the company point two spider-man no way home scored a record-setting opening weekend at amc and other theater chains amc stocks rapidly re recovered amc stocks rapidly recovered from its recent decline on the good news a demonstration of continuing influence that retail investors have on its share price like i was saying guys it's just absolutely insane this new movie not to mention if we go on twitter right <laughs> if we go on twitter right now as you can see people are excited this is all recent by the way this is all this news that i'm reporting is up to date guys so you make sure you like and subscribe just for that right i'm giving you up-to-date news you guys coming down below your opinions on all of this i'm just here to report the news and you know give you guys the fact this new movie and also alongside the movie having nfts this is really good it's really putting their name back in the spotlight again and this has a lot of people excited as you guys can see and i also post a news clip at the end you know referring to amc but yeah like i said a lot of people are posting their nfts and everything and i think it's just absolutely insane i think it's really cool that they did this this is a really smart marketing campaign and this is what happens when amc apparently listens to the apes so comment down below if you're an ape also because amc is also listening to the apes and this is one of the main reasons why amc did this i'm correct it's because they decided to listen to the apes and the apes like should make nft alongside the movie back to the monthly full article after stumbling for a few days retail investors favorite amc entertainment showed that its glory days aren't quite behind because a lot of people the reason why amc is all in the works is because you know gigantic hedge funds and corporations are trying to short it with with synthetics stocks and everything like that with money they're trying to short it with synthetic shares it's obviously illegal the stock gained over 19 percent in friday trading as spider-man no way 
way home began generating sizzling open sizzling opening weekend sales the superhero flick may have fueled amc surge but it also it also fairly certain that the stock would not have jumped so much without new dedication of its retail investors who show the influence of the little guy on shares persists particularly for this stock because you know the ape family with amc is so strong it's actually insane but yeah like i was saying guys it's crazy like i said comment down below what you guys thought on all of this is and how do you guys feel about this i think it's actually insane and here's another part of it too earlier december dip of amc during the second week of december it looked like as if amc's long period of overvaluation originally drove by the retail traders which is us if you guys didn't know that but the retail traders attempt to generate a short squeeze right because as you guys know we're in moss or the moas is going to happen real soon for those of you that don't know the moas stands for mother of all squeezes or mother of all short squeezes my bad and um it's real soon a lot of people speculate that the moas is coming is like the end of year moas so it should happen around january like it should be really soon guys attempt to generate a short squeeze might be coming to a close though down considerably from the june peak the stock was still up by around 12,000 percent after 2021's first 11 months but shares dropped again after several insiders sold major, major parts of their stakes in the company so yeah guys let me know what your thoughts on all of that i think that's just insane and crazy but yeah if you look at google finance yesterday they closed above 30 dollars and um today they're around about 28 dollars they're down about six percent today a note that dropped within the last hour uh, from somebody we follow very closely that's marco kalanovic of jp morgan jason snipe i'm going to play this to you um he's not ready to throw in the towel you know he says a short squeeze rally into year end looks likely now this is taking everything into consideration fed policy this policy change a more hawkish fed if you want to characterize it as that Omicron, the variant that's drawing a lot of concern globally. He says, and I quote, the narrative for the sell-off is related to Omicron and the Fed. Well, actual selling comes largely from de-risking and shorting from equity and macro hedge funds. Can you guys throw that back up there just so folks can follow along, please? For short selling campaigns to succeed, there has to be positioning, liquidity, and often system systematic amplifiers of the sell-off. We believe these conditions are not met. And hence, this market episode may end up in a short squeeze and cyclical rally into year end and January. Omicron's mortality rate is very low. This is consistent with Omicron being a bullish rather than bearish market development. The MOAS is happening real soon, either by the time December ends or early on in January. But if you want more videos like this, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor at all. But if you guys do want more videos like this, comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and make sure you guys check out my playlist that's up on screen for more videos. I'm out. Take care.